Hey guys, it's me Sushil Adhikari for Health Info Nepal and in this video I'm going to tell you about the pathogenesis of diabetic retinopathy. Okay, how the increase in blood glucose level causes disease of retina. Okay, so let's discuss about that. First of all, we should know that in diabetic retinopathy, the mainly the increase in blood glucose level affects precapillary arterioles, capillaries and venules. Okay. We call it microvascular abnormalities. Okay, in diabetic retinopathy, the main pathogenesis occurs in microvasculatures of retina. Now be clear, first of all, be clear about that. Microvasculatures is involved. Okay, so when the blood glucose level uh, increases above the normal level, it undergoes various metabolic pathways. Okay, the glucose level glucose undergoes various metabolic pathways. One uh, among them. One is aldose reductase mediated glycolysis of glucose occurs, and there is the formations of sorbitol. Okay, sorbitol when it get accumulated on the cells of microvasculatures, it causes damage to those cells. Okay, like sorbitol, other advanced glycosylation end products may cause damage to microvasculatures. Okay, and along with that the other mechanisms like the activations of protein kinase C isoforms may, have, uh, may, cause, may be the pathogenesis may lead to the diabetic retinopathy okay and uh, along with that there is when the blood glucose level is above the normal level there uh, there is the hematological abnormalities like the blood viscosity will increase in a diabetic patient the adhesiveness of the platelet will increase and there occurs the uh, deformities on irises that is the rolex formations of irises occurs okay so all these factors uh, are the cause for pathogenesis uh, for the uh, development of diabetic retinopathy okay so what happens is that all these factors causes uh, injury to the uh, endothelial cells of blood vessels there is the loss of the pericytes, pericyte may be lost, and there is the thickenings of the basement membranes of capillaries. Okay, all these factors causes the occlusions of blood vessels, occlusions of the microvasculatures, so that the hypoxic response occurs in retina. Okay, when blood vessel becomes narrowed and uh, the blood uh, supply, uh, the oxygen supply, oxygen demand of the retinal tissue does not meet then hypoxic response occurs and various angiogenic factors will be released like vasculoendothelial growth factors platelet derived growth factors and hepatocyte growth factors will be released okay uh, as this as those growth factors releases there occurs the formations of new blood vessels that is neovascularizations occurs in retina and when the neovascularizations develops we call it proliferative diabetic retinopathy okay uh, this is the mechanisms for development of proliferative diabetic retinopathy okay and along with the uh, for, uh, along with the release of angiogenic factors there is, there is the deletions of anti angiogenic factors okay deletions of anti angiogenic factors like endostatin and angiostatins okay these uh, factors will be reduced okay so uh, this is the pathogenesis and what happens uh, is that when there is the loss of the pericytes and when there is the injury to the endothelial cells there uh, there will be the focal dilutations of capillaries okay focal dilutations of capillaries we can uh, uh, which uh, we can see on front this picture is red dot okay so we call it micro aneurysms okay micro aneurysms develops on retina okay and uh, the, uh, as there is the injury to the microvasculatures the fluid will leak from the blood vessels into the retinal tissue so there will be uh, the retinal hemorrhage there will be the hard exudates and there will be the cotton wool spots on retina okay cotton wool spots in the whitest superficial lesion okay cotton wool spot is the whitest superficial lesion on retina and these are due to infractions of the uh, retinal nerve fibers okay these are due to infractions of retinal nerve fibers when the retinal nerve fibers get infracted they uh, appear whitish okay and along with that 
there is intraretinal microvascular abnormalities okay intravascular micro intraretinal microvascular abnormalities okay and we also we uh, call it uh, this is also known as uh, arteriovenous sontex okay this may occurs on retina okay so guys uh, this is the pathogenesis of diabetic retinopathy and uh, this was for today for more videos uh, don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thank you for watching